Hello and welcome back to Ask Anushka. As always, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today's video is all about this that hurts the narcissist more than anything. And before I get into the video, I just wanted to say that this video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, check this out. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of creative courses and classes taught by experts to help you learn new skills. This month, I decided to take botanical illustration. I love the how it teaches you step-by-step -step guide how to draw and how to paint with watercolor or gauche. This is a great way to learn a new skill. You've got how students have rated this class. You've got whether it met expectations. You can even have discussions with the with other people in the community. Search anything that you want in the tab. Learn new interests, learn new skills, learn to be more creative and develop your skills, develop what you have. This is so empowering. The first 1000 people to use this link will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Just check the description box below. Okay, so what hurts the narcissist more than anything? Okay, and I know that so many of you want to know this because they have hurt you so much. They have made you feel irrelevant. They have caused you so much pain, so many sleepless nights, probably not eating either. They have also made you question your own reality. So, of course, you want to avenge yourself on this person. But let me tell you, all right, let me tell you that this is a negative way to be, meaning taking revenge. You need to build yourself up, all right, so strong that you don't need to take revenge. You know what? The narcissist is already suffering. They have been for years, even before you came on the scene. What they did is made you believe a different reality. They lied to you. They made you feel that you weren't good enough, that you were worthless. And this is exactly what they have felt as children growing up so they don't know any other way to be than this what they are doing is they're reenacting their childhood to on you okay this is what they did this is what happened to them and when do you learn when you are conditioned in this way when you have this experience as a child you know we don't tend to change so much as adults Particularly if you have had a toxic family dynamic growing up, okay, and you have chosen to be this way, this is what the narcissist does. They are just projecting their childhood onto their adulthood. So the one thing that is going to hurt them so much is no contact. And I know that, that seems so simple, that this is the one thing that is going to hurt them. Because you are not giving them attention, you're not giving them communication, that you're not giving them any emotional value, any emotional regard. And that's what they live for. They want you to give them attention and your emotional energy. Okay, and when you don't, when you starve the narcissist of this, this sends them crazy because that's all they have ever wanted to do in this interaction. They want your attention. If we go back to how they were as children, that's all they ever wanted. They wanted their parents to notice them. They wanted their parents to love them. So they learned that if they change who they are, they will get that. And indeed they did. And that got reinforced in childhood. And again, this never got changed or never was said to them that maybe, you know, this is a bit wrong, like this is not right. This was never pointed out to them. So they have continued to do this into adulthood. So they're constantly scanning for your emotional value, for your emotional attention. But when they don't get that, even after when you have ended the relationship or they have ended the relationship, they're still looking for that. Especially if you have to communicate with them still, if you've got children or you've got assets with them. They are always looking for that from you. So when you don't give them that, that is going to make them go crazy. 
because they want it. They will do things, they will say things to get an emotional reaction from you. Whether you are in this relationship or you have entered the relationship, that is what they want. They want you to agree with them. They want you to notice them. They want you to do what they want you to do. Because this is all they've ever wanted as children, then going into adulthood, this is continued, okay? This is continued, this hasn't changed. This is not going to change. This is what they do. When you become stronger, when you become more confident in yourself, the narcissist hates this because you see through what they are doing. They know what they are doing. They know that when they do this, this is dysfunctional. They know that this isn't right. This is why in most cases this is done covertly. Okay, so that nobody else noticed, so that nobody else pulls them up on this. And that's why they are able to keep you in this relationship for longer than probably that you should have been. Because they gaslight you, they love bomb you, they gaslight you, they love bomb you, they silent treat you. And this causes a emotional disturbance within you because then you don't trust yourself. But now that you've had the time to process this, now that you've educated yourself on what narcissistic abuse is, you are able to move forward and grow stronger. And so this is something that the narcissist hates. They don't want you to grow stronger. They want you to stay the same person as you did before because they could control you. They could manipulate you. They can manipulate the situation, the experience that you have with them. And they tell you lies. All right, so this is what will really hurt the narcissist is if you go no contact, you give them no attention, you don't communicate with them. If you have to, okay, because I know that no contact is not always simple in every single situation. If you can't go no contact, what I would say to you is remove all emotional validity, all right, and just speak to them on things that you have to speak about, meaning keep it factual. See it as a business transaction. See it as something that you have to be very formal with. No emotional regard, no extra bits of information here and there on how you're feeling even if they ask you. Just give them the facts, the things that they need to know. No more, no less. This is what they're going to hate because you become unpredictable, you become stronger and they can't deal with that. They can't deal with a stronger you, someone that sees through them. So this is really, really important. So my friends, nothing hurts the narcissist more than you going no contact, than you growing stronger. Even weeks, months, years after the relationship, you continue to get stronger, they hate this. They will see this in you because your interaction towards them will be different or your interaction with others They'll see this either on social media, you know, through flying monkeys, through friends, through whatever. They will be able to know that you have got stronger. So this is your weapon against the narcissist. Guys, I really hope that this video has helped you and I hope that it makes sense in terms of going forward. Remember, I do offer one-to-one -one consultations or if you would like to join the journal club where I post every single Monday, you will get a journal prompt and this will help you to process emotions and thoughts that you may have and connect back to you. Take care guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.